listen, Connolly, I, I really appreciate this, all right? Yeah, you know, Claude's obviously got some control issues, but you know something? This isn't gonna be good for the Steelheads, but if this provides a valuable lesson for Todd Mablethorpe, then, you know, that is a, a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Taylor. Bye. You know, if I had a paycheck, I'd bet it on a 10-game suspension for Mr. Todd Mapplethorpe. Strand is coming back to Hamilton a loser. Thank you. Mrs. Dusky's here. Who? Frank Dusky's mother, you know. The coma guy. Oh, God. What's she doing here? He brought her to town to be with her son. Oh, this is so overblown. He'll be fine. Anyway, would you like to see her? No, would I like to have an elective root canal? No, I don't want to see her. You know, you could make her feel better. No, I can't make people feel better. That's not my gift. You know, maybe I would prefer working for Harry Strand. Yeah. Why don't you just uh, cut to the main event and tell me what happened to the missing paychecks? It's big. ACN pulled out. The midweek broadcaster? And there's a check for 30 million that's not in the mail. Well, no cash flow, no paychecks. Any reason? This is just Arlene and Legal, but apparently they're claiming Colleen guaranteed a national sponsor. Couldn't deliver. Oh. Is that right? Really? That couldn't be better. <laughs> OK, this happy makes me nervous. I'll be outside. No, oh, yeah, very well. Thornton from The Spectator. It's, uh, it's Brett Parker. Listen, I... No, Rose, it's really me. I'm not joking. No, it's not the first time I've ever called you. That doesn't matter. Listen, I need you to meet me at Tulane's in half an hour, okay? Well, because I need to uh, put an end to these vicious rumors regarding Ms. Blessed and the midweek broadcaster. That's, oh yeah, on the record, sure, absolutely. Yep, ha ha yeah, half an hour, yeah. Okay, bye. M Mr. Parker? Yeah, can I help you? I'm looking for Brett Parker. I'm Lorraine Dusky, Frank's mother. Oh. Right. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, Mr. Parker is not here right now. I'm Sheldon. I sell phone systems. So, C can I uh, pass something on to him for you? He's not here? No. S sorry. I see. <clears throat> you could uh, tell him, then, how sorry I am to see my son lying in a hospital bed and tell him he's not the only one to blame, uh, I would like it if he understood that he shares the blame, but that he's not alone. Uh, <clears throat> there are a number of us that uh, carry the blame together. W would you tell him that, please? Yes, sure. You know, if, I, if I happen to see him, I will. I'll say that to him. Okay, now I'm really mad. My check is two days late and I have stock options due tomorrow. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Hey, just settle down there, Speed Racer, all right? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna sit out? They would give us our checks. No. Because everyone will get mad and they'll start yelling and then everyone's gonna start calling their agents. So you don't care if you get paid? Sure I do. Look, guys, up until a couple of days ago, we're on one of our best runs ever. And now it's like, oh, you guys are going nuts. I want everyone to just cool out and relax, okay? And I'll try and figure out what's going on, all right? Any news from Associate General Manager Harry Strand? No, thanks for asking. But I did get a call from Rose Thornton checking a story about ACN canceling our oh. broadcast because apparently I couldn't deliver a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> so where do you suppose she heard that? Oh, gee, I don't know. It's a dirty world, Colleen. Right. One little slip, there's always someone ready to stick you. But there's been no slip or stick. Parker, you know that story's untrue, and if it got out, it could cause a general panic. Well, I guess you'll be issuing a vehement denial, then. I guess you're an astonishing piece of work, then. Ah, thanks. You were out to get me, anyway. I just wanted to make it clear I was going to drag you down with All me. right, you two, stop jabbering. The way you go on, you're going to sink this team. We've got a big problem on our hands. It's going to take both of you to solve it. Is that clear? <laughs> hey, listen, I have nothing to do with, uh... I said, is that clear, son? Yeah, clear. Good. Sit. Coco, sit. Now listen up. Now 
ran into Kirby Cavanaugh. He used to be foreman at the old Studebaker plant years ago. We played euchre together from time to time. Well, his son is one of the bigwigs over at General Mills. They make the bugles, you know. And he married Lisa McFarland. Cute little thing. Her dad worked for me between 72 and 78. Are you okay, Def? I'm fine, Coco. You hang in there. I'm getting to it. Because it turns out that little Lisa McFarland... Oh, she's not that little anymore, poor thing. Something with the glands. But she runs the agency that sells all of the advertising for ACN. And she knows why the buggers drop the steelheads. You see, shooting on all cylinders. So why did they? The president is doing a favor for a pal. And that pal is very well known to you both. Lives in Houston, Texas. Bud Travis. The very same. Figures to starve us out of cash. Buy the team for a song once we're bankrupt. Sorry, Coco. Well, I am damned if I'm going to let some Texas Sharpie force me into selling out for pennies. Not when they're playing like the Tigers at 25, he's not. And I want you two to stop squabbling like two kids in the schoolyard and figure out how to stop him. Now, what's the first problem? Cash, Cash flow. flow. We can't make staff payroll without the TV money, let alone pay the players. And how do we fix it? Well, no, I think we... the Okay, go ahead. Thank you. We could use the reserves for McArdle Industries, but you need that cash to keep your other companies afloat. I need to stop that Texas piss hand from making me look dumber than a royal commission. That's what I need. Use the reserves to pay the staff, Coco. Now, Parker, got any bright ideas on the player side? Uh, sure. You could change the Steelhead's roster. You know, right now we pay a middle price, try for the cup. You could go long horizon, um, you know, trade up uh, salaries for uh, younger talent. What's the downside? Well, short-term suffering, team won't be as good. Three years from now, you'll have a contender. Meanwhile, you'll save on the cash and uh, buy yourself some time. What? Nothing. All right. Do it. This is wrong, Duff. I'm not going to lose on this, Coco. Not for anything. Now, you get together with Parker on this, and I'll go see that doctor you've been nagging me about. We've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Oh. All right. Thanks for calling. Todd's suspended. He got 10 games. Oh, my God. Are you unhappy about the, the league's decision to suspend me before? Bewildering, quite frankly, Miss Thornton. I can't account for it. Is the team going to appeal the decision? I hope so. Don't touch me. Of course, I can't answer for Mr. Parker, can I? Now, well, excuse me, we've got a game to get ready for. Okay. Uh, I just had to really just... Uh, get back to me ASAP on this, all right? Okay. <sighs> I just don't understand it. The suspension makes no sense. You shouldn't have sent Strand. I told you the man is unstable. I said that. All right. Down to business. So, clearly, with Travis in the picture... <laughs> the return of Bud. Hell hath no fury like a Texan scorned. With Houston in the picture, is that better? We can't expect any support from ACN, so we have to buy time till we till can... we can set up a new broadcasting deal, I know. I've already put a call into Lipton at Sportsnet. I was gonna suggest that. Well, now you don't have to, do you? So, if we can cut roughly... Half a million from this week's budget, we stay alive. Yeah, I'll go give the Carolinas a call. Start dealing. Where are you going? Going to my office. Why? To start dealing. You don't think you're going to watch me deal, do you? You don't think I'm going to let you do this on your own, do you? No, no, you don't understand. Look, this is it's negotiation, Colleen. It's a, it's a personal, it's a very intimate thing. I've done that in front of anybody before. Wonderful. I'll be your first. Wonderful. Todd has disappeared. I have called everywhere, you know? I'm worried. Yeah, me too. What are we going to do? We're going to play hockey. That's what they pay us for. 
But they're not paying Why us. Why is everything about money with you, huh, Shaky? You know, it's not just Shaky, Mark. You know, we're all as mad as hell. Captain Simpson. Kindly deliver this lineup sheet to the official's office. It's a little late, isn't it, Strand? They were last minute adjustments. <sighs> Gentlemen, the Steelhead's front office appears to be in total chaos. Paychecks have not been issued. Now, I do not want this to affect your play out there. And I most certainly do not want any reenactment of the Long Bay Beavers who, when faced with the exact same situation, went out and played with listlessness. And although this dastardly ploy succeeded in driving management to its knees and the immediate issuance of paychecks, I do not hint nor advocate that any similar poor performance in this game might meet with equal success. They said you already posted the lineup. It's too late to change now. Thank you, Captain. Gentlemen, carry on. <laughs>